Radio Shouty. Okay, now we got to take it to Jay Z, American Gangster. Mm -hmm. What was that like collaborating with Jay Z and saying, "Okay, I didn't work with Ye. I mean, I didn't work with Tip. I didn't work with Rod. I didn't work with everybody. Now it's time to get in here with wow. the argue, uh, arguably the greatest of all time." What was that like? And did you feel any pressure when you got in there with him? Man, no. You know what? He he almost put some pressure on me, but it, <laughs> it wasn't because. <laughs> I done ran into Jay so many times, man. Yeah. We always say, you know, one day we'll get together. You know what I mean? One time my boy Big John took me through there and um, ran into him in Vegas. We just used to see each other. You know, we always acknowledge because that's when we met. Uh, yeah. Man, towards the, that's when he really remembered me from when we was working with Kanye. Mm. And and that's when he later on, he was like, hey, man, you know, I don't know when, but we definitely going to work together. Yeah. And, and what's funny about that American Gangster album is – that's around the time when Jay Z was talking about retiring. Yeah, and so my homeboy, uh, Big John, who runs um, Sony over there, you know, big time guy. Shout out to Big John Platt. Mm. He hit me, was like, you know, whispering on the phone, "Hey, hey man, Jay Z about to do another album, uh, you know? This ain't got nothing to do with, you know, no budget or what, you know? Just he says a budget there, but you are gonna have to dig in your pocket, boy. I know you got money. Fly on up here." <laughs> You know, going to get your hotels. I checked it to the Hudson. Yeah. Um, me and my business partner, Bernard. Bernard. We went up there. Um, man, and I had, actually, you go on YouTube. I'm, I, I, I made like five tracks for him, just to, a, a top five that I knew. Yeah. I had a top five tracks, but I made one more, which mm -hmm. was that one. Mm hmm I'll tell you, a lot of time, that last one be that one. Right before yeah. the door closed. Exactly. That that one. And... I was working on it and all the while I was chopping up the samples and I was like, you know what, man? It was funny though, man. It's a backstory because Two Chains and Player Circle them had that same sample. What? And the song that they did to it, I was like, Chains, that's it, cool, but boy, that sample's so cold. <laughs> and I swear, man, do not get mad if I use that motherfucker one day. That might be why Chains don't fuck me to this day. Because I definitely took that that, that sample and he, he knew it because I kept on telling him. I said, hey, man, that sample cold as hell. I forgot who did it, they, they version. Mm -hmm. But I knew I was going to put my twist to it one day, The Love We Share. And I found mm. that album. I had it in the crate all the time. Yeah. And um, chopped it up. And so when I went out there, to, uh, we flew up to New York. When I got there, Jay was like, hey, man, I've been listening to tracks all day. Yeah. Who was that? It was him, uh, JD, Usher, No ID, L Rock. Um, and his uh, engineer, you know what I mean? And so he's like, hey, man, you know, I don't want to hear no more than really like three beats. And I said, oh, shit. <laughs> this nigga playing like this today? Yeah, like, for real? That's all? I'm like, boy, I got some shit. So yeah. The first one I played was something original. Because mm -hmm. I was like, man, let me try to get one with no samples. <laughs> you know, so I can own all the, the whole shit for this month. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. And Bernard was like, hey, man, you know, I'm going to play that shit you been fucking with yesterday. Yeah. I said, all right, this got to be the one. And when I hit it, Guru looked at me, and Jay started. <laughs> so how, do, how he responded with Timberland on that little yeah. video. That little, he started rapping to himself. About 15 minutes, man, he just turned, said, turn the mic on. And that boy went in there, and Sean Carter went in there and blessed that motherfucker. Oh, my God. He lit that song up, man, and J.D. did the hook. That's him. You know, say hello. Yeah. That's J.D. That's Where the, the hell? Dupree. Why the hell? Why did he pop out of nowhere? Hey, man, he was there. He was already working because he worked on that album too. Okay, okay. Yeah, he had two songs on American Gangster. Oh so, my god! And that's when No ID and Air Rocks was signed under JD's production company at that time. See, yeah, No ID was under it was signed under Jay Z around that time. Out of all of your studio sessions, which one has been the one where you just knew that God had entered the room and it was going to fuck down, and whatever came out of that studio was going to be a hit? Graduation. Ooh. Kanye graduation. Yeah. A lot of magic, man. It was beautiful. Um, just with everybody who was coming through, just to even say hi. Like, yeah. I met so many people just working with him, and it was just beautiful working with him. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, when you a producer working with an artist slash producer, yeah. oh, it can't be nothing but magic. Facts. Because he gets almost everything that's in your playlist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's open to, okay, he might hear a sample and say, oh, shit, or I might hear a sample from him. And next thing you know, we building. Mm -hmm. So 
I actually had another one by, um, with him and Common called I Done Did It All that didn't mm. make the album, but that shit was hard. Damn. It was hard. <laughs> it would have been one of y'all favorites, too. 